Welcome! In this video, I'll show you how to solve the integral of the secant of theta d theta. Now, this integral is um, relatively easy to solve. However, the trick that you have to use may be a little bit hard to think of at first. Now, where does this come from? Where does the trick come from? I will show you in a moment. So what we do is that we have the integral of secant theta, and now we multiply by the secant of theta plus the tangent of theta, and we divide, of course, by the same amount so that we don't actually change anything, right? This is simply a smart way of writing one, right? We're multiplying by one, nothing has changed. Now, why did we choose to do this? The reason is because we are setting up a change of variables. So we want to use another variable, let's say w, for example, and w will be what we just used. So secant of theta plus tangent of theta. Now you may be wondering, well, uh, then why did we even bother doing this entire thing? Why not just uh, multiply by w? The reason is because now if we differentiate w, we get dw is the derivative of secant of theta, which is the tangent of theta times the secant of theta plus the derivative of tangent of theta, which is secant squared of theta. And all of this, of course, multiplying d the theta. And this is the reason. This is why we chose this to multiply, because now we can factor out secant theta, and we still have tangent theta plus secant theta, which is exactly what we used here to multiply, and that is precisely w. So dw is the secant of theta times w. All right, so let's plug it into our integral, and we will see how this simplifies everything. So our initial integral, this is secant theta d theta, and now I just want to have this there to make sure that we know what it is. And now we plug it in. So we had the secant of theta, and then we have, well, this thing right there, it's simply w, we have divided by w, and the, the theta here, this is the w divided by w secant of theta, right? We, we simply have to divide by secant theta on this, which is the same as w, right? So we now plug in the, uh, the theta here, which is dw divided by w secant theta. So here we see that the secant cancels out. That was the purpose of this entire thing. Our purpose was to get rid of secant, which was the thing that was making everything difficult. And one w cancels out with this one, so we end up with the integral of dw over w. And this one is a an integral that I, I'm sure we have seen before, right? This is sim simply the natural log of the absolute value of omega plus some constant, right? So the whole point here was to get rid of secant theta. And in case in the future you want to um, maybe try to remember this a little bit easier, um, the key is in the secants, right? You want to solve for secants, and thus we have to build something, right? We have to build this new variable which will allow us to factor out a secant that will then cancel out, right? What we want is that when we use substitution, the dw or dv or whatever name you use has to include one over secant, right? It has to include this secant right there so that it cancels out the secant that we started out with. That's why we went um, for the substitution that included precisely uh, secants everywhere and also kind of cancelled itself, right? But of course, we are not ready just yet because this is in terms of w and we want this to be in terms of our initial expression, which here includes this theta. So what we need to do is go back to our substitution. w is equal to the secant of theta plus tangent of theta. So this means that our expression is natural log of the absolute value of secant of theta plus tangent of theta plus, you know, some constant. So, so there we go. I hope that this video was useful to you. If it was, please make sure to leave a like on the video, comment and subscribe, and maybe even consider checking out my Patreon. So I'll see you in another video. Thank you very much for watching.